Hello friends, this video on waves part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Transverse and longitudinal waves Displacement relation in a progressive wave Speed of a traveling wave The principle of superposition of waves Reflection of waves Beats And Doppler effect The first question that should strike your mind is Why should we study waves? I mean, why do we even have a lesson on waves in our physics? Well, before I start with what is a wave, what are the different types of waves and all the different effects related to waves, I would like to introduce the chapter with certain applications of waves. There are certain things which you see around yourself every day. Every now and then you use them, every now and then you see them. So now we will see that even all those things are nothing but application of waves. They are all related to waves. So I'll just give you certain pictures of the daily, of the day-to-day -day use examples in your own life, which you see, which you come across every day. So let us look at certain such things. Now, just imagine you holding uh, this, this little boy holding a thread, which is tied at one end to the wall. As you see here, this thread is tied to the wall. Now, a general observation, just imagine this situation with yourself. What happens if you just move this light spring up and down? You see that this entire stream moves in this form, in the form of a wave. So that is a wave, right? Similarly, when you see a boat or a ship sailing over the sea or the tides, what is that? Even that is nothing but an example of wave. It is the, the boat is able to move because of the waves. I mean, the boat moves up and down the waves. The ripples formed in a lake. If you drop a stone into water, what happens? You see these kind of ripples, right? So what are they? Nothing but waves again. The horrible or the terrifying earthquake which happens. Even that is a consequence of earth waves. That is also because of a kind of waves under the surface of the earth which results in earthquake. The pleasant music of a guitar. So even the strings of the guitar, when you play them, what happens? What is behind that sweet or the pleasant music which you hear? Nothing but waves again. Your music system with beautiful songs, nothing but sound waves. Two persons talking to each other. You speaking with your friend, you speaking with your mom, whatever it is. Whatever you speak, the other person is able to hear because of the sound waves. See, you speak something. How does it reach the other person? It travels in the form of sound waves. So, if you see such things are something which you know, which you already see around yourselves. But maybe we never knew that waves are an integral part of all these things. Right? And even if we knew that, we never bothered to know in detail about what waves are. So, that is what we will do today. So these are some of the examples of waves. I'll show you more and more examples so that I can develop an interest in you to go through this chapter. Another set of examples which I'll tell you is your television remote. The remote of your TV, right? You sit on your sofa and just switch on the TV with the help of the remote. You change the channels, you change the volume. So things are so easy, right? So even in that case, waves play an integral part. The satellite systems through which you get all your channels and all. Your mobile phones, which have become an integral part or an unavoidable part of our life these days. The music systems at your home. The light bulb, the traffic signals. The sun, this is Mr. Sun. Sun gives us sunlight. So even that travels in the form of light waves. 
the microwave, which you generally see in your kitchen. So even there you have your microwaves, which are nothing but electromagnetic waves. I, I'll not go into detail of what kind of waves are there in each of them. Right now I'm just showing you the examples. As I go ahead with the chapter, I'll tell you about the different types of waves, how do they propagate and what gives rise to waves and everything. So once I finish this chapter, it is your, it is on your interest that you come back to these first three slides and try to see what all waves are, what are the kind of waves involved in each of these examples. And that time you'll find it really interesting because by that time you will be knowing what are the different kinds of waves. Not only that, even you, you would have gone to doctors when they would have told that I want to get an x-ray done. When, when you get a fracture somewhere, they ask you to get an x-ray done. So even in those x-rays, those x-rays are nothing but they are also waves. Similarly, there are other set of waves. So I, I gave you an example of one set of waves where you need a medium for the wave to travel from one place to another. A medium is required. The second set of examples show the kind of waves where you really don't need a medium to propagate. So the wave can propagate or it can travel from one point to another even without a medium. And now the third set of examples is the waves which are related to matter, which are related to object. That means in a sense everything we see around us is matter, right? Even we ourselves are matter. And there are a set of waves which keep going or there are waves inside the matter as well. So when I talk of matter, you can think of just anything which you see around yourself. So, in, in fact, you can even think of the entire universe, right? So, they all can fall under this category of examples. So, now that we have seen so many applications of waves, so it is not only interesting, but it is also very, very important for us to know what a wave is. So, now we will start with what is a wave? How do we define wave in physics? Wave is a disturbance, the most important term when you start studying wave. It is a disturbance that propagates through space and time, usually with transference of energy. So the first important term here is disturbance. The second important term here is propagates. So what is wave? It is nothing but a disturbance. What is a disturbance? It is nothing but Interfering, I mean, how do you define disturbance basically? When something is going very smooth, something else, when, let us suppose when life is going very smooth and in the middle of it a trouble comes and that trouble becomes a disturbance because it interferes with the smoothness of your life, right? So similarly, wave is nothing but that disturbance which suddenly comes up and then that disturbance Propagates. Propagates means, uh, I mean, in, in, in its literal meaning, propagate would mean something which travels. That will travel or that will keep continuing with space and time. That means as time increases with time, it, the, it, it will also propagate through a certain amount or through a certain distance in space with transference of energy. That means energy will get transferred from one point to another. So let us look at this example so that you can very clearly understand wave. Let us suppose this is a music which is coming up or say this is the sound of a horn and this is your ear. So this sound reaches your ear. How does it reach your ear? Because, with, because of these sound waves. So the sound waves so travel somewhat like this. Now you must be thinking in your mind, why is the sound wave looking so dirty and yucky? We will discuss in detail about how a sound wave travels. But as of now, just keep in mind that this is, I mean, this is how somewhat the wave will travel. Basically what will happen? Transfer of energy will take place from one point to another. So the initial point from where transfer of energy starts taking place is this. This is the initial point. This is the source of the wave and this is the final destination where the wave has to reach. 
So what happens? The energy transfers from this initial to this final position with the help of the particles in the medium. But the particles of the medium does not move from one point to another. That means, let us suppose, just understand this, it's simply in this way. Let us suppose, this is your position 1, this is your position 2. One boy is standing at position 1, another boy is standing at position 2. Now, in order to transfer something, either this boy can just walk off with that particular thing to boy at point 2. The other way is, you, you transfer this object to this point, Again, this point transfers the object to this point. Again, this point transfers the object to this point and so on. And this keeps continuing until the object reaches point 2. So, in this case, what happens? These points are not moving, right? These points actually are not moving. They are all stationary. It is just that the object is getting passed through each of these points and gradually it is reaching from the initial point to the final destination, right? So something like that happens even in case of a wave. If you see, observe very carefully as I denote a point. Let us suppose if you observe a particular point, say this point. What happens to this point? You just observe this red dot. This black particle just move, keeps moving like this. If you see, like this, like this, like this, like this. So it just keeps moving in this way. So basically this particle is not going somewhere. The particle itself is not moving from initial to final position. It is just that all particles are moving a bit in its own position but the energy is getting transferred from that particle to the next particle. Again from the next particle to the next particle and so on. And thus the energy is reaching from initial to the final position. So what, what is a disturbance? A disturbance is something which causes this propagation, which initiates this movement. So this movement is initiated by a disturbance. Now And then this disturbance gets propagated. That is, that is, it is transferred from one point to another through space and time. That means time as time increases, the movement in the space also increases with transference of energy. And the next important point is, energy and not the matter is transferred from one point to another. Please remember this very carefully. If you see here, it is only the energy which is getting transferred from one particle to another. The particles of the medium, they are not moving as such. I mean, they are just showing some movement about their positions, about their mean position, but they are not moving from one point to another point as a whole. I mean, the the, all the particles are at their respective positions. They are not moving from initial position to final position. Only the energy is getting transferred from initial to final position. So that means from this we can say that when a source of energy causes a vibration to travel through the medium, a wave is created. So here the source of energy is nothing but this horn. So when this source of energy causes a vibration, a small vibration and then it keeps going from one to another and so on. So that vibration keeps traveling throughout the medium, then we say that a wave is generated. So not only this, if we take the next example, here you can see that a, it is a kind of water wave. Here we can see. So even here if you observe, you can see the particle. See here we have marked the particle with a red dot if you see. So that particle is not moving with the wave. The particle is just moving in its own position. It is somewhat moving in the same way as it was moving in the above diagram. So this red particle is just moving about its mean position but it is not moving along with the wave. It is not getting transferred to a complete another location. So the particles are just moving about their mean position but the wave as a such is generated due to transfer of energy from one point to another. Thank you. Please visit examfew.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.